Virginia here with Jenny Lee Gems. I am continuing to work on this heart pine needle basket. And I wanted to show you in a previous video, I showed you how to do the straight stitch. And that's what I've been using on the outside of this basket here. Inside is the tie stitch. So I wanted to add a few beads to here. And I've been working on that, but I wanted to show you how to do that if you're trying to add little beads coming up the side. So I am using Czech Glass Bead Treasure Preciosa Beads. Let's see, it says, I don't know the size, it's called Rocal Beads. So they're sort of flat round they look about maybe five centimeters, probably about five centimeters, I would guess. At any rate, those are the beads I'm using. There's plenty more, you could use whatever you want, but these are smaller beads so they can, I can work them up the side. So you need to watch the video on the straight stitch prior to trying to attach beads in this manner. Um, here we go. So. You see I've attached a few here. I didn't miss this stitch. I'm kind of planning on doing something there. So if you're doing the straight stitch, your thread's out, load your bead on, however you wanna load your bead on. I have one on there. And then you're gonna do the straight stitch the same way you did it before. Go down to the right, cross diagonally, and come out the back. of the second stitch on the far side. So I'm right-handed, but I'm holding my basket upside down. It's just easier to work on it this way. So there, that attaches it right in. Let me show you one more time. So we're going to the next stitch. Load your bead. I keep them in these little jars that makes it easier little plates pull it up and over you're going to go on the right side of your first stitch you can get your needle down in go diagonally across and come out the back side of your second stitch oh it went right to the right spot okay good sometimes you have to try to adjust it but it's been going pretty close to it Pull it through, pull it tight. Now, I don't pull it too tight because it um, it causes the straight stitch to wobble a little bit. You gotta, you gotta pull it snug, but not too, too tight. So that's what it's looking like. So let's do one more. I grab a bead. I know there's a lot of red in this basket, but I kind of like it. So, and it is for Valentine's Day, so. So here we go. Right side of that first stitch. Come out the back side, the far side of the second stitch, or your next stitch. Pull it through if you can get a hold of it. Snug it up. And that's what it looks like. They need to be tightened up a little bit, but that's what it looks like. Okay. Thanks for watching. I'll show you more as we progress. Okay, let's do that a few more times. Pick up your little bead, string it onto your string. Now you see sometimes these little stitches go sideways a bit. You have to kind of straighten them out. Okay, just do it the same way you were taught how to do the straight stitch. So go in on the far side 
or the right side if you're right-handed. Go diagonally across the back. Try to get it, I got it pretty close. Get it on the far side of that second stitch. And then pull it down and tighten it up. Okay, there you go. That's what it looks like. So I'm doing a different pattern here. I'm going to work it down to a point. And um, I don't know. I'm doing a different pattern here. But that's what it looks like. I'll do one more for you. Since I have a little bit of thread left. I can't wait to finish this basket. I'm trying to get it done by Valentine's Day. Just because. So we were trying to get reservations at our favorite restaurant. And we can't get in until Wednesday, so, but that's fine. Okay, pick up your bead, create your stitch, your straight stitch, the same way you did before. Go on the right side of the first stitch, cut diagonally through the pine needles, and try to come out on the far side of that second stitch. Okay, I'll show you from the front. Pull it through. Slippery. Snug it up. I'm getting, I've got a bunch of short needles right there. I'm gonna have to be adding. Okay, there you go. So I went back, it's kind of hard sometimes to get these really straight. But I just kind of snug them up and keep them going that way. And when you wax them, they're not going to move. These are not going to move anyway because they're pretty tight. But that's the pattern I'm starting to create. I'll show you it when it's finished. So it's the same as your straight stitch. The only thing you do is add a bead before you go back down in the basket. Okay? Thanks for watching.